In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the gingivectomy procedure. So this is a procedure which is done usually when we have a hyperplastic gingiva. So in this case, it results in uh, pseudo pockets because of the overgrowth of the gingiva. When you use a periodontal probe to check the bottom of the pocket or sul gingival sulcus, it's going to be above four millimeters just because of this enlarged gingiva. And it can even be greater. It can be five, six, seven, depending on how hyperplastic the gingiva is. So one of the indications is to eliminate pseudo pockets. It can also be done if we want to create um, a more aesthetic appearance in the anterior when we have kind of like a gummy smile. So the patient wants to expose more of their tooth. Or if we want to expose a more sort of subgingival preparation if we're making crowns or veneers. Uh, so that's when a gingivectomy can also be done. A dressing is usually placed, a periodontal pack. It's uh, usually uh, replaced after one week. The patient is instructed to use chlorhexidine mouthwashes uh, between 0.1% and 0.2%. Twice a day it needs to be done and then when the patient feels the pain has subsided and they're more comfortable with the the area feels a bit more comfortable, then they can continue with their normal oral hygiene routine. So after a week, uh, the patient returns just for a checkup and we clean the wound surface, any fibrin remnants and epithelial remnants, we kind of just remove off and then we apply a new periodontal dressing. The normal healing period for a gingivectomy is between two to four weeks, but the patient must be monitored weekly just to ensure healing is going appropriately and to replace the periodontal packs. Uh, to end the video, I'm going to show you guys a nice before and after picture of a gingivectomy procedure. So this has been done by Dr. Teresa Vieira. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce her surname. Um, yeah, you can see in the before picture that really hyperplastic gingiva really covering the neck of the anterior teeth really doesn't look uh, very aesthetic, especially you can imagine when the patient smiles when you have excessive gum tissue like that, it can really contribute towards a gummy smile. And we have the uh, after picture on the bottom. Very nice uh, picture, very nice quality of picture as well. But you can really see the contour of the gingiva is much more appropriate and this is the type of result that you can get with a gingivectomy. So that's all for the video today guys. Uh, if you have any questions please write them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to reply to you guys as soon as possible.